Welcome to the Alpheus Reading Tools Google Sites tutorial. We will show you how to embed the Alpheus tools in a Google Sites web page. First, let's load Google Sites. We need to be logged in to a Google account in order to create a new site. Click on the plus icon to create a new website. Let's add some information. We'll add a title for our site. And then we'll add a header. Now let's add the code that will embed Alpheus into the page. In a separate tab, we'll go to the Alpheus homepage. Let's scroll down to the section which says Add Alpheus to your site. And click on the Copy Embed Code button. First, we need to provide a site identifier to identify our site for Alpheus. This can be any text, but we recommend using the URL for the site Alpheus will be embedded in. We can also specify whether or not to include some sample text in the code snippet. For this tutorial, we will check this option. Click Copy Embed Code to copy the code snippet with the sample text to the clipboard. Now let's return to the tab with our Google Sites page. Click the Embed icon. Select Embed Code. Paste the code from the clipboard into the dialog box. Click Next. We should now see the Alpheus toolbar and the sample text. However, we want to provide our own text and not this sample sentence from the Aeneid. This will require some additions to the starter code. Let's work in a text file so that we can more easily see what we are doing. Open a text editor. Copy the code into the text document. We'll review what's there. This line adds the styles for the Alpheus tools to the page. This block adds the Alpheus tools to the page and the rest will be the textual content we want to display on the page. We need to put the text into an HTML element which has the class attribute set to Alpheus enabled to indicate to Alpheus that this text should be enabled for Alpheus. In our sample, this is on the top level div element which means that everything contained within the opening and closing div tags will be enabled for Alpheus. A full HTML tutorial is outside the scope of what we can cover here, but a good starting point is the W3Schools HTML tutorial. We must also use the lang attribute to tell Alpheus that this text is Latin. Now, let's replace the sample text that is inside the div with some of our own. We want each of these lines of text to be displayed on a new line, so we put them inside p tags. We should save the file so that we don't lose our work. Now, we are ready to paste all of this code into the Google Sites page. We select the entire contents of the file and copy it to the clipboard. Returning to the Google Sites page, we click on the Edit Code icon. Clear all of the previous code and paste our updated code, copied from the text editor. Click Next. In the next window, we should see the Alpheus toolbar and our Latin text. If it is OK, let's click Insert. The text and Alpheus reading tools are now successfully inserted into the site. Let's expand to the full width of the screen. We are ready to publish our site. 
we type the name we want to use as the site's URL here and click Publish. OK, it is successfully published. Let's see our published site. Click the arrow on the Publish button. Click View Published Site. Here it is. Let's look up a word. Double click on it. Great, it's working. Let's check on mobile. Tap on the word. And we can see it is working here as well. Now, let's suppose there are some words we expect our students to know already. And we want to only enable Alpheus on those words they haven't seen before. We will show you how to customize the content to make this possible. We return to our text file. We'll remove the class attribute from the top level div element. And instead, add a span tag around only the words we want Alpheus to be enabled on. Let's add it to the word legit. Now, let's add some style instructions that will underline only those words which are enabled for Alpheus, so that the reader can know that a reading aid is available. This is a simple CSS style. You can learn more about CSS in the W3Schools tutorial. Save the updated file. Copy the contents of the file to the clipboard. Return to the Google Sites page and click the Edit icon to update the code. Let's just remove everything that's there. And now we will copy in the content from the clipboard and click Next. We can see that the word legit is underlined. Click Save. Click Publish. When we update an already published site, we are offered the opportunity to compare the two versions. Click Publish again. OK, it is successfully published. Let's see how it works now. We can see the underlined word. Let's tap on another word. The lookup was not executed. Now let's tap on the underlined word. We have a successful result. Thank you for watching. Explore additional Alpheus features in the tutorials at https colon forward slash forward slash alpheus.net forward slash pages forward slash tutorials. Please email us with any questions at support at alpheus.net.